So the Boston Bruins move back into first place in the Atlantic Division after a 6-5 win against the Flyers. And all things considered, going into the third period 2-2, you saw an offensive explosion in the third. Before getting into the goals, I have to say Charlie Coyle and Jake DeBras stood out to me tonight. Charlie Coyle had two big goals to help the Bruins get this win. And with Coyle struggling recently, only having one point in his last five before this game, getting two goals will hopefully get him going. He has a career high 23 goals on the season and he has filled in that top six role really well. And as for Jake DeBrusque, he has really picked it up lately. He did have five points in his last five. He had a two point night with a goal and an assist. If the Bruins are going to do something when it comes to the playoffs, DeBrusque is going to have to be a factor. The Philadelphia Flyers have been a pleasant surprise to the Metropolitan Division and they showed it tonight. They would start off the scoring. Garnet Hathaway and Ryan Paling on a one-timer. This was a great feed over to Paling. He buries it past Swayman. They go up 1-0. Now, the Bruins would score a little over 10 minutes later. Jeremy Swayman would make a big stop to keep it a 1-0 game. The Bruins go the other way, and this is what happens. Dick DeBrusque. Morgan Geeky scores! Morgan Geeky with an absolute clap bomb. That's a big one for the Bees, and that's DeBrusque's first point of the night. We'd have no more scoring in the first period, and then we go into the second. About midway through, the Flyers would get on the board to make it a 2-1 game. But York, a wrist shot tipped in front. That was a great redirect in front by Farabee as the power play just expired. But three minutes later, Charlie Coyle would get on the board. Marshawn to Coyle! Good face-off win by Zaka. Marshawn with a beautiful feed. And Charlie Coyle gets the rare Boston Bruins power play goal. That would be all the scoring in the second period. And you think, okay, this will be a tight game. Maybe a 3-2 to two game, maybe a 4-3 to three game. But we saw an offensive explosion in the third. Charlie Coyle would start off the scoring in the third period, getting his second goal of the game. And what a hell of a play. Ternock Coyle with speed. Oh! And the Bruins would keep up this momentum, scoring another goal. A little over two minutes later, Peak with a nice pass over to Beecher. Peak. And Beecher on the rebound! It was good to see Beecher score a goal. He was good on the faceoff dot tonight. And when he's played for the Bruins, I thought he's done pretty well. Then 19 seconds later, DeBrusque with a goal for his second point of the night. DeBrusque! Oh, he tucks it in! DeBrusque shows some great patience on that one. Bruins go up 5-2, and you're feeling confident. Like, okay, this is a good game for the Bruins. They showed their offensive capabilities in the third. But as always, the Bruins like to make it exciting. The Philadelphia Flyers would score 10 minutes later. And DeLaurier. DeLaurier gets an easy one there. Jeremy Swayman was not expecting that at all. Now we got ourselves a 5-3 game. 62 seconds later, they score again. Frost to tip it, down to Frost and... That was an absolute disgusting goal by Frost. Between the legs, over Swayman, it's a one-goal game. But Dan Heinen from the Bruins, he would answer back. Heinen with Kiki the trailer and Heinen! Heinen came down on the left side and decided to go bar down. That was a big goal for the Bruins to give them some breathing room. But as always, the Bruins this season love to make you panic. 55 seconds later, we got ourselves another Flyers goal. Let's go. Therapy with the wraparound that goes right off Swayman, puts the Flyers only down one, and as a Bruins fan, it makes you think like, oh my god, not again, for the love of god, can we just keep a lead and not go to overtime? The Flyers would end up pulling their goaltender, but thankfully, they would not score. The Bruins win this exciting game, 6-5. to five. You know, I criticize the Bruins for their lack of offensive scoring capability, but a night like this where they score so many goals, I should be really happy. 
But then when I see the constant trend of the lead slipping away and it's like, oh my God, we might be going to overtime again. They have to button up that part of their game, but this was a good win for the Bruins. They put themselves back in first place in the Atlantic division. And with how good the Atlantic is this year, I do feel the first place spot is very important. Mind you, the Panthers do have a game in hand and they have been terrific this year. So the race for the first place spot in the Atlantic division will most likely go down to the wire. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Who stood out the most to you in this game? I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.